I first thought of the bass plate's design right after I had installed a new batter head on my bass drum. I was choosing where to place the beater badge, but first I took a mallet and tried striking the head at different points to see how the location would affect the drum sound. The location of the striking point had a very clear effect on the drum sound. When I struck closer to center, the sound had more attack and fewer overtones. And when I struck farther from center, the overtones increased and the drum had a rounder sound with more sustain. The choice of a striking point and its distance from the drum head center is a matter of personal preference. It depends on the drummer and the style of music that he's playing. I knew that the only way to really change the striking point's distance from center was to raise or lower the beater. But that affects the pedal's feel. It affects the speed and the power. The bass plate is designed to let drummers adjust the striking point's distance from center independently of the beater's height. For example, on my 22-inch bass drum, I like the sound best when the striking point is within two inches of the head center. But with the beater height that I like, the striking point was even farther from center. With the bass plate, I can set the beater height that I like, and then move the pedal to the right or to the left to get the striking point that I like, so that I'm not compromising the pedal feel or the drum sound that I prefer. And when I use a double pedal, I can make sure that each beater's striking point is the same distance from the drum head center for identical sound. The bass plate's width lets drummers get the striking point farther from center than ever before. And because it adds one inch of height to the drum, it also lets drummers get the striking point closer to the center without drastically shortening the beater. It lets each drummer get the sound he wants without sacrificing the pedal feel that he likes. When I started using the bass plate, I noticed some improvements in the sound of my drum. I wanted to test this, so I brought the drum into the studio and played it with and without the bass plate. We could see that using the bass plate boosted the drum's frequency response in the low, mid, and high ranges. This is a terrific extra benefit, and it means that even drummers who have a beater height they already like and a striking point sound they already like, even they can benefit from a bass plate. The bass plate is so adjustable, they can keep that beater height, and they can keep that striking point's distance from center and still get the added frequency response that the bass plate gives. Stability was a very important factor when designing the bass plate. I wanted the drum to be rock solid, even under heavy playing. And because the bass plate is held in place by two lugs, it's extremely stable. It can easily support drums with two rack toms mounted on top. And because the bass plate is only about one inch off the drum, the drum will still fit into soft and hard cases as easily as ever. The base plate is easy to install. Remove the two bottom claws on the batter side. Take off the resonant head. Remove the screws from the two bottom batter side lugs. Then place the base plate on the shell. It has rubber pieces where it touches the shell so the drum's finish is protected. Screw the lugs back on. Put the claws and the resonant head back on and you're ready to play.